Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you one of my makes that I just finished and also some items I purchased at fabric stores. We'll start with the skirt which is Berta Style 6319. You can see here it comes in two different lengths so I chose to make the shorter length but use the ties on the side. I'm using a cotton fabric which I like sewing with cotton because it's easy, but it also wrinkles, but I couldn't help it because this flamingo print from Alexander Henry was so fun and bright and summery and I loved how it has black in it so I could wear a black t-shirt. With the ties, what I did, instead of using the same fabric on both sides, I matched um, the orange color in the, the print and just did one side the orange and the other the Flamingos. That's coral, by the way. It's coral, okay. She My cousin says here orange. says it's coral. It's cor yeah, it's, it is coral. <laughs> She's correct. It's coral. And it's got some gathers, and it's got an invisible zipper, which I managed not to mess up too terribly. Can I film it? What are you going to film? Your butt. You are bad. <laughs> okay. So let's start with... We started at Hobby Lobby yesterday. And what did I get at Hobby Lobby? Really, I just got a lot of trims because their spools were half off. So you can see I got these sequin things. These are really just to make all the shiny the stuff. The children's for the little dresses I make for my friend's daughter. And then I got these, which they're like pretty cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I bling bling. I, I had to have some bling. So that was it for Hobby Lobby. I got some other trims, but they're boring. Um, next, we went to a place called Yardage Town in here in San Diego, but they're shutting down. So a lot of their fabrics were 50% off, so I grabbed some of those, and we will start with... I mean, all this is is just black rayon chalet. But I got four yards of it, and it was like $5. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to try to make a jumpsuit with it. Um kind of seeing all these jumpsuits and there's a there's a pattern by McCall's I think I want to get. I can't remember the number, but I'm going to try that. If you have a good jumpsuit pattern that you want to suggest, go for it. I also got this I guess you could call it a charmeuse. Two yards of this. I might make either a shift dress or a blouse, but it's fun and it's vibrant. And I was debating on whether or not to get it, but my cousin said, "No, you have you have to get it." It was a really good find. Drape it on so the um, on yeah, on the, on the dress form. Mm -hmm. Tell the story about how when you were trying to purchase it, someone thought God. that you worked there and tried to snatch it from you. No, it was the black chalet. So I've got my three bolts of fabric, and the lady's like, "Oh gosh, this is ripping." What? This is ripping. <laughs> No. Oh my oh, god. Hold on, it didn't rip, did it? It's ripping down the middle. No, it didn't rip down the middle. Girl, what just happened? Oh. You just opened it. Oh my god. You just opened it. <laughs> okay, whatever is hard for that outburst. Not... Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I thought it was ripping. Oh my god, it was $5. <laughs> Just smother wow. that mannequin. Wow. Look at that. Look at. See how pretty that's amazing. gonna be. That's gonna be amazing. It is really I pretty, love it. isn't I it? I love so it. So what should I make with it? Well, you were saying I a dress, and then I was like, "Ooh, you it's gonna it's, be so hard to sew with. Mm -hmm. Don't do a dress, you know." But now that you have it up on a dress form like What's this, pretty, you have to do a dress. You have to do a maxi dress. Do, well, I, I think you should do a maxi dress with spaghetti straps. I can't, well, I can't do a maxi dress with. I can't do a maxi dress with two yards. I have to have three yards of this. What if it's just like a mid length? I mean, I... Yeah, you could. I don't know. With an asymmetrical hem. That'd be hot. I'm not all on the... I don't do asymmetrical. No, I don't mean like short in the front, long in the back. No. I just mean like angular. I don't know. We'll figure that out. All right. The other one I she got... hates me. <laughs> the other one I got is this green um, interlock... Holly. This was nice. It is. And I mean, you can do so much with it. And I just adore the color. Gosh, I mean. 
This is like four dollars. It's a are? really $4 rich $4. dark teal. It's, it's beautiful. More blue and more green than it's showing up in this quality I, of see, photo. I bought three yards of this. I really should have bought three yards of that green, but I don't know. I was like, oh, I'm spending too much money. <sighs> well, then, nonetheless, I'll find something good. And then. A previous trip to Joann's, I got this lightweight, like, kind of chambray denim. Here, let's take a look, everybody. I think I got three yards of this guy. Or, the reason being is I'm thinking, I'm hoping that it'll work with this new look pattern. Mm -hmm. Make some really nice pants. Like, mm -hmm. Casual pants, but because they have this dark denim mm -hmm. um, color, it, it could be like dressed up. I mm -hmm. think. I think so too. What do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna I be think? very light? This is not a heavy it denim at all. It's not heavy. Mm -mm. Okay, and then I think this is probably my favorite. The next one. I'm probably gonna make a maxi dress with this. Oh yeah, this fabric is to this die for. I got at Joann's. It was probably like eight dollars yard with the sale that was going on in my coupon. How and is it just a Joanne exclusive again? Probably. Let's take a look. Yeah, yes. Joanne has been stepping up their game. They have. I, I'm. I'm sure. We went to one Joanne's in San Diego, and it was such a wreck. It was so disgusting. I'd never been to this Joanne's before. So I, I said to my cousin, I said, "We're gonna go, and we're gonna go to my home store Joanne's, because Joanne's customer service can be." Hit and miss. I mean, it I is. It depends on where you go. A lot of people complain about them, but my home store in Poway, they're generally pretty great. Poway, California, that's the one I go to. I live in San Diego, but anyway, they're usually pretty good. Their store is usually pretty clean. It's a yes, well one. organized. And this is where we found this. Lots of selection. Yeah. And not at the first one we went to. Oh, the second the one had. One, it was. It was. Dis it was disgusting. It was. It smelled so, wrong. It, it really it did. Well, and you don't want that in a fabric store. <laughs> no, you really don't. So isn't this beautiful? This is 100% rayon. Wow. That is she's the best. I am excited. super excited about this. Like, I just want to just wrap. Summertime fabric. Yes. So, and then I got some patterns from New Look. I know that they just recently had um, a Simplicity sale and Vogue is on sale right now, but I don't been finding me I wanted this time. So, new look. looks like new looks my jam. I'm feeling like well, new right now might it be is. my jam. Okay. Okay. So I got this one, which is new look 6145. It's for jerseys. Jerseys. Jersey. Actually, yeah. And double, this is double knits. I'm sorry, double knits and cotton, cotton blends. Anyway, I the reason I bought this is because of these sleeves. I just think this is super cute and this shift drift. They are super cute. It's like an, a, a cute little 80s cap sleeve. That, and then this is kind of 60s-ish. And that's 60s, yeah. It's got some retro This vibes. is like Viv Mom. Say, say hi to Viv Mom. Hi, Viv Mom. <laughs> this is so funny. I got this for the little girl I like to sew for, my best friend's daughter who just turned four. This is super cute. It's mm -hmm. all about the wrap dress, right? This one is Jersey for sure. I don't know why I said that one is Jersey, but anyway. This one is Jersey. I love this little shirt dress. How cute is that? And it has tote bag pattern too. I don't normally make tote bags, but... She hates tote bags, I do so I don't know why she's bags. talking them up. Six <laughs> Do not hate tote bags. Just don't use them. 6095. I didn't say the number on this one. It's the display one, so I don't really know what the real number is. Anyway. I'm not too lazy to look. And then I actually bought this one for my cousin because I love this dress. This is so this is so her. I saw this, these little buttons here. I'm like, this is her. Yeah, this I would you. do that, but I would do it without buttons and without the collar too. I just love all it's, the looks. It's really great. Except so, I don't go short like that. I like it this length, length or all the way. Okay. Yeah. Well I bought this for her. Selfless sewing, everyone. <laughs> Whatever. And what I, kind of fabric does it use? Well, let's look. Uh, Char Shally. Yeah. Crepe, crepe de chine, mm -hmm. card, linen types, silky types. Oh, like the yeah. green and black one I just got. Yay. I don't know. Linen maybe. Hmm. 
oh. thinking about it. And I bought this one again. I already have this one and I bought it again because I've got plenty. I want to make, I want to make this one and this one. So I bought it again. But that is my mini haul. That's my mini haul. And I wanted to share this little make. And I also made a little dress that I call the pink lemonade dress for the little girl I so far that I just mentioned. And I will post the picture at the end of this video because I don't have it with me. It was her birthday on Friday, so I gave it to her and I didn't film it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. It'd be great if you subscribed and followed me on Instagram, SoCal Socialite. And thank you to my guest. Katrina, my dear cousin, for filming these videos with me these past couple of days. I look forward to doing it again next month. It's been fun. Bye. Bye.